pillows. So people often ask me about what the best pillow is or what kind of pillow they should get. This is often people with neck pain or back pain or people who just want to get a more comfortable night's sleep. Unfortunately, the bad news is there's no one particular kind of pillow that's perfect that will suit everybody. And often people find that a more expensive pillow doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work better for them. So the first piece of advice is, is save your money. Don't necessarily go for the most expensive pillow you can find first. In clinic, I use a couple of different types of pillow. The first one is a relatively flat pillow. I mean, this one's from Ikea, so it's humdan. And uh, I, I have a few of these. And this is the one that I tend to use if I'm gonna get somebody lying on their back. So as you can see, it's nice and soft. My head sinks into it. It's quite comfortable. And for a lot of people, this is a reasonably comfortable position to be in. Alongside that, what you tend to find is that if I, if I then get somebody lying on their side, this won't be thick enough. So the head sort of sinks into the pillow and over time my neck might start to get a little bit niggly in that position. So rather than use that one, I have a thicker pillow. This one's memory foam. It's a bit firmer and this is the one that I use if somebody's going to be lying on their side. So as you can see, that's a bit more supportive there. It tucks nicely up to my shoulder and it takes some pressure off that arm as well so this is a much more comfortable place to be if i'm going to be lying on my side for any length of time there are lots of other kinds of pillows out there as well one that i want to mention is this neck pillow now you can see that it's got a contoured shape there again this particular one's from ikea lots of different brands out there but again that little bump there that just slots nicely into that space in my neck so it gives me a little bit more support. Again, if I'm on my back, depending on how, how the curve of my upper back fits with the curve of the pillow, this may or may not be comfortable for me. So everyone's slightly different in that regard. What I'd recommend as much as possible is trying out a few different pillows and seeing which ones work best for you. So try not to have any preconceptions. It's not necessarily the more expensive ones which are gonna be better, but when you do find a good one, just stick with it. And also, if you're traveling, try and make sure that you take a pillow with you. If you know that um, your neck can sometimes play up if you, if you sleep in an unfamiliar bed, one of the best things you can do is just have a pillow that you can just throw in your luggage, because that sometimes can make all the difference.